Hello everyone, I'm Rekby5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout 4 with G9-13. Yes, and we just finished killing off a uh, trapper who supposedly murdered the husband of Cassie Dalton. Yeah, you flamethrowered him to death. I flamethrowered him to death. And then we kind of explored down here and picked up a little bit of loot and that kind of thing and now I guess it's time to have something to eat. And uh, looks like we've got some cooking to do here too. Anyway, I guess we could have some canned dog food. Mmm, canned dog food. And, and some gumdrops. And some gumdrops, yeah. There we go. That's what they serve you at the five-star restaurants, right? Yeah, well, around here anyway. Huh. And we uh, also discovered a... Uh, so I guess Brookshead Lighthouse is cleared. We also discovered another red rocket down here. So maybe on the way back to uh, Far Harbor Settlement, we'll stop by the red rocket there and see if we have a uh, another uh, settler there that we can turn into a provisioner. Although that's an awfully long provisioner line. It could be tough to maintain that one. Oh, well, you might just have to approach it from multiple angles. Yeah, well, eventually, because there's a couple more settlements on the island that we can uh, um, set up. But, uh, yeah, like some of the, even with the addition of the Red Rocket settlements, some of the supply lines in, in Far Harbor here are pretty long. Where am I going anyway? Yeah, you might even have to try multiple provisioners down the same route or something. Who knows? Yeah. Well, you're kind of following the road. Ish. Kind of, I guess, ish. Yeah, well, it'll take us over here toward the, the... If we follow this, I guess it'll take us over here toward the pop factory, and then we can uh, make our way... We can swim back across this little bay, I guess. Yep. Bunker Hill is under attack. Well, they can fend for themselves. Well, it looks like they're going to have to because I'm not going to make it back there. Even if I started right now, I don't think I'd make it back there in time anyway. Because it is just too far away. Even with your sprinting. Even with my sprinting. Okay, so we'll just keep following the road. Oh! There's a guy shooting at you. Where? 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 On your right. Oh, there he is. Damn, that tree is awesome fireproof cover. Another guy on your right, too. Grim Trapper. Obviously, I missed him. Oh, behind you. What? On your right. I don't know, there's still that guy over there, right? He's not a grim trapper anymore. He's a f roasted trapper. You know, I'm sure the trappers would eat that too. You know. Oh, well, somebody's somebody is uh, shooting at me. Is he upstairs in here? I don't think. Yeah, oh, he yep. is. Yep. Hmm, it appears that he can shoot me, but I can't shoot him.
There's apparently a uh, car going to blow up outside. Yeah. Run! Run while you can! Oh, okay. Guess, uh... You're not fitting up there. I'm not fitting up there. I'm not even sure where, uh... Yo, I think there's like a whole bunch of them, like all in the trees and stuff. Yeah. Oh. You're dead already. Oh, there's one. Where are you, you little bastard? Okay, there you are. Problem solved. Yeah. Oh, there's another guy behind you. Oh, there's another guy there too. I'm almost out of flamer fuel here. Yeah, you've really worked through it, haven't you? Yeah, well, that's something that I've noticed is that uh, this flamer is a pretty good weapon, but it uh, <laughs> chews a lot it, of it chews through fuel in a hurry, right? Yeah, there's also a lot of these guys around here. Yeah, and it's hard to spot them all too because they uh, seem to be coming from every direction. And it's, and it's hard to see them in the fog. I checked the front entrance. Yeah, I think I see muzzle flashes over here. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the punk gun. Yeah. Well, let's see here. What have I got that shoots 45s? I got that. Well, wow, you were working doing... on your gunslinger. Yeah. Wow, you've got a lot of 45s. You yeah, built well, up all, a stock. All, all of these guys had, uh, you know, like revolvers and uh, and uh, combat rifles and things like that, right? So. But anyway, we made them all pay. Okay, still shooting going off on in the background, but it has nothing to do with me. We're just gonna grab something here for a little bit of healing action. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, and then we gotta have a drink of water, too. And I think that took a while, because I think now it's nighttime, or almost. Like 6.30 in the evening. I hear something. Oh. Yeah, that's a super mutant hangout, by the looks of it. Well, I guess if they're not going to bother you, right? Well, let's see here. I can either just swim across or I can follow the shoreline across. It looks like there's kind of like a little land bridge over there, eh? Is that it? Is that the way you're supposed to actually get across? I think you swam across the first time. Yeah, I just swam across the first time. See, fog, radiation storm, it all adds to the visibility, right? Yep, and there's another super mutant hang out there. Like I said, there seems to be a lot of super mutants in Far Harbor. So can you imagine playing this with uh, darker nights on? Oh, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah. Even when you're just playing, you wouldn't be able to see anything, never mind trying to record that. Well, it looks like I'm heading up the road, going the wrong way now. 
I guess I uh, overshot the little land bridge thing. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, Echo Lake Lumber. Yeah. Well, you could always cut across the lake to your right now if you wanted to. Yeah, just swim right across the lake. <laughs> You'd be guaranteed to hit a road after. Yeah. Whether or not you would recognize it as a road, I mean, that's an entirely separate issue, but... Well, I might have to climb, like, a cliff or something in order to get back to the road, too, eh? By the looks of it. And now you're heading back south. Yeah, I know. Well, I was thinking if uh, I can't climb this cliff, then I'm going to have to go around and get back to where I was supposed to be going to begin with. Well, it looks like you might be able to get a foothold around this area, maybe. Ugh, come on, get up there. See, that's something I think they should have had in their games by now. Right? Rock climbing? Is rock climbing. Like, why can't I climb this, this, like, there should have had some climbing animations built into this game so that you could actually, you know, like, climb surfaces like that. Well, I can't remember when Dragon's Dogma came out, but it had that kind of thing in it. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess this is the road again, right? Yep. Or is it? Well, it's a road. Uh, yeah, it's a road that branches back onto the same damn oh. road I was going on. I have, to, I have to turn around and go south now. Or you could just cut across the wilderness. Roads, who needs them? Well, the thing is, though, in in you know some uh, some areas that's fine, but in Far Harbor, your sight lines are so poor, and uh, you could be, you know, like cutting across country kind of thing, and before you know it you uh, suddenly just run into a uh, vertical cliff or something, right? I'm sure you'd be fine. No, I've I remember this from before when I was playing this. It's actually quite hard to just cut across country in this game, in this area, right? Because because you literally can't see where you're going half the time. Red Rocket? Yeah, we made it back to the Red Rocket station, so now we're on the right road. Or close enough to it. What the? Oh, that's a... It's a oh. rabbit. Yeah, rabbits. Okay. Apparently you can run faster than a rabbit. Apparently I can, yeah. Olympic these. sprinter Usain Bolt over here. <laughs> we'll do a little hurdling there too, eh? All in a day's work. Oh, that skeleton's <laughs> still rattling away in that cage. <laughs> He's just saying hi. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that thing is still doing that, even though I've, it's been some time since we were there, right? Yep. Well, at least, you know what? Worst things could happen from that rattling skeleton. It could randomly clip out of the cage and fire at you at like a million miles an hour and kill you. <laughs> it, 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 it could crash the game. Yeah. Thankfully, it doesn't do any of those things. It just... Rattles around like a Bethesda game. Yep. And it's still doing it even now, even though we can't hear it. Yep. If a skeleton rattles around in a cage and nobody's around to hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an interesting uh, existential question, right? Yep.
Anyway, I think once we get back to a settlement, I'm probably just going to drop off this flamer now because I don't have any fuel for it anymore. It was fun to play with, but uh, really... Wow, look at that. That's the shadow from... Uh... <clears throat> weird see that yeah I, it looks like it should be i can't see the thing that's casting oh there it is over there see oh yep it's the shadows cast by those windmill things huh. <coughs> weird weird it's, a, it's amazing how uh you know at uh almost nine o'clock at night something can still cast a shadow, right? Well, that's uh, <coughs> lighter nights for you. Yeah. Mainlanders don't last long. Huh? Yeah, you'd think they're at our latitude. Uh-oh, what's going on now? Ooh. Yeah, eventually it'll get to the point here where the sun's not setting and uh, around where we live till like 10 or 11 at night. Yeah, see that is a Navi Navita Sanguine Vampire, right? And they have uh, modified Mirelurks as sort of like um, followers instead of people, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well... I was going the right way. Yeah, here we go. Careful out there. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. Food in front, dock in back. I'm screaming by. Okay, well, here we go, Cassie. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. Okay. I found a hollow tape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. It was true. Or at least there was truth in it. <laughs> a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, the island learned something too. It knows you're not some green-backed mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. Okay, well... I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Oh, let me think. Oh. For at least a generation or two. There's no <laughs> Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now. Knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours, 
I think yours is only just getting interesting. Oh, okay. So it's a... Uh... It's a bleed melee weapon. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, it causes bleeding. Talk with Teddy Wright. Okay, who's Teddy Wright? Why do I need to talk with him? Oh, He's okay. right there. There he is, right there. Hello. <laughs> Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? <laughs> Does it really matter? I suppose not. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you. Where you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Okay. Oh, here you left. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this? Well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. So, if we throw this dance, it'll really change their minds. The dance hasn't been done in living memory. Some people think the tradition is dead, but its history is so deep in this island. You do it, and it'll turn heads for certain. Okay, I'm ready to be a legend. I'm a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurt feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway treacherous stretch along the coast go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water all that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention and then wait i'll make sure there's a witness or two prove to the rest of these clods you belong okay hmm that sounds like an interesting thing to do sure let's do that next since it appears we won't be getting any more jobs from cassie dalton and, well, uh, we can probably unload a couple of things here. Excuse me, stranger. You need odds, hands, junk, or knickknacks. You've come to the right place. Let's barter. Of course. Okay. Well, I, I think I'm. Well, maybe I should keep that as a souvenir since it might be the only one I ever find. Right. Hmm. <laughs> But I can sell a bunch of these. Yeah, damn, you ended up with a lot of frag grenades. Well, it's one of those things that you tend to pick up, right? Okay, well. Let's see if uh, what he's got here. He's got a little bit of flamer fuel. Ah, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We'll uh, we'll just head back to we'll head back to the old settlement here and uh, unload some stuff and maybe see if we can make another provisioner. And F5 is your friend. Yep. It certainly is. Just like that. Hey, what's the deal with that anyway? It seems like... Uh... Oh, okay. So what's this other thing? Oh, is that the uh, settlement attack? Oh yeah, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll just go and turn that off. Because that's just not going to happen. I put
put up gun turrets all over the place at that place and, uh, you know, like, assigned guards and all that kind of stuff. They're just going to have to figure it out for themselves. The crop's been growing pretty good lately. Yeah, uh, okay. Hmm. Wow, hey, look at that. Some good stuff here. Just start doling uh, lever action rifles out to settlers. Well, we can. Uh, uh, ooh, look at that. Hmm. Pretty well, everything we're finding is a good weapon now, hey? Yep. Okay, well, we'll drop off some of our junk here, and then uh, we'll see about making uh, another provisioner uniform. Then we'll look for a settler that doesn't have a job, which shouldn't be too hard. There's one right hey, there. I just that guy. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured. Guess not? what? You just volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, you get the shit work job need. now, man. Just say the word. Just wanted to trade a few things. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, I guess we'll give you that lever action shotgun. So, as you can see, an advanced lever action shotgun. Uh, does quite a lot of damage, at least in the hands of somebody with the right perks. Yep. But you're going to have to give them some ammo, too. Yeah, I'll give them some shotgun shells. I've got some to spare here. And then we'll armor him up. With the typical uniform. Yep. And then we'll send him to... <sighs> I think that's Red Rocket Southwest Harbor. That's where we want to send him. All right. So I guess we'll have a look at the map here. Yep. Yep, that's the place. That's a long supply line. And oh. he's got to walk by all those super mutant hangouts and stuff on the way there and back every time, too. Well, you might have to send so another guy from the Dalton I can't, farm. Yeah, I can't see that being a super reliable supply line, really. You probably have to triple up on it from Dalton farm and from uh, What's-His-Nuts' house. Yeah, probably. But anyway... It's getting to be almost midnight so it's time to go and take a nap I think and we'll get the rest of these uh, settlers sorted out after after that all right because you have to sleep every now and then because if you don't you get too tired Well, completed help defend Bunker Hill. So Bunker Hill successfully defended itself. So I guess the uh, defenses that I built were hey, good enough. Did you hear what they were talking about? Okay, well, it looks like that one guy was the only unemployed guy, right? Yep. So that was a lucky coincidence that I happened to run into him. Well, I guess you could always run over to Dalton Farm and see if you got another settler there yet. Yeah, well gonna don't we have a barbecue or a stove or something going on here maybe not we haven't done much to embellish this place yet so maybe we need to start working on that so we've got a nice selection of uh, stoves that we can put in here. Did 
the kitchen at the end of the hall. Well, you know what? What else are you going to use this space for, really? Yeah, that's true. And uh, we also can put in... Uh, A refrigerator. Yeah, maybe we'll just tuck that in there. And then we'll go over here to CWSS and we'll put in, uh, what do you think, like a kitchen sink kind of a thing here, right? So we need some power in order to make that fridge work. Are you still running low on copper? I don't know. But it looks as though... Uh, we need to maybe get some power down here closer to the ground if we can build another power pylon kind of thing here. It looks like we can build... A few. Okay, so let's do it this way. We'll put this here. Now I'm gonna have to go back up there again. See, we'll just somehow string this wire all through all this stuff here up these stairs and through that building and see if we can connect it to that. quite close enough for that uh, fridge just yet but that's okay because we can put some uh, on the wall out here too is that close enough Okay, that go. gives us power for our fridge, and then we can uh, put in a light here and there. Oh, I guess that's just out of range. There. There. Yeah, now, put it above now, the fridge. Now it works. <laughs> so I guess uh, we need to have one a little closer to this wall if we want to be able to make light work over here. Yeah, probably you'll just have to uh, work your way around the building slowly but surely. But anyway, that's a start. We have our uh, kitchen and everything all set up here nicely. And then over here, we'll go in here now and... Oh, we're out of copper. We can't build any bathroom fixtures right now. Yep, you're done. Because we're, we're, we're done, and we're not putting any more lights in either because uh, we don't have enough copper to put in lights either. But that's okay. We can put in some uh, furniture-type things here. Wouldn't that be something if all the uh, chairs and tables required copper? Well, no. These mostly require wood and cloth. So we can uh, kind of build a little bit of a, a spot here for the people to hang around and sit and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough stuff here to build a radio. Yeah, that probably requires some copper. Yeah. We'll have to see.
Well, it looks like I can build one radio. Of course, I've got a lot of different radios from a lot of different radio mods. But we're going to build a Diamond City Radio 1 here because I don't remember where it came from. It's probably in the mod list somewhere. But uh, somebody did a mod where things like radios and paintings and things like that add happiness to your settlement. And that's important. And so that's why everybody listens to Diamond City Radio because it adds happiness to settlements. Oh, now we got to eat something. So I guess we'll get back to decorating uh, later when we have actually got... We'll have that. When we actually have uh, got more copper and other things that we can decorate with. Because right now, we just plain ran out of stuff. Ran out of resources. <sighs> it's so hard to keep your bearings in this place because of all the fog and stuff. We want to go this way. Well, once you uh, uh, get yourself all sorted out, uh, maybe off camera you can visit the Commonwealth again Everything. and get some copper. Yeah. Well, I might be able to buy shipments of stuff at Far Harbor here too. And eventually, when I get enough settlers, I can put in shops and that kind of thing as well in my uh, what the hell is settlements, too. Anyway? Brooks? Eh. <coughs> bargain. Let's deal. Here's what I got. Okay, well. Okay, well, we'll buy the aluminum stuff for sure. We'll buy the Brahmin skull. Uh... That's got copper in it. That has copper in it. Copper. Yep, more copper. Oh, look. Ship shipment of copper. Okay. And we'll buy the TV dinner tray. And the telephone. And the vacuum tube. Okay, well... There. So I don't know whether people uh, seem to like this kind of thing or not, but uh, maybe we'll go back here now that we've got some more materials and we'll decorate up this settlement a little bit. Yeah, actually, you know what? I've gotten a couple of uh, uh, private messages from people who uh, seem to like this kind of thing. Yeah, well, like I said, we never really explored the... Um, settlement building angle of this game very much until fairly recently so uh you know and i had, i had always acted under the assumption that maybe people might be bored by this so that's why i kind of never really went there but if people do like this kind of thing i mean they can always let us know what they would like to see too right anyway uh it's kind of dark in here even though it's daytime so I think we need to put some lights in. Now that we have some copper and we can actually put some lights in. Oh yeah, we can also do the uh, the bathroom thing too. So this says uh, the mod is called CWSS Redux. And I was lucky I got it off the Nexus before the author actually pulled his mods off the Nexus. And I'm not sure why he did that, uh, whether he uh, has his own site that he's, you know, like... like uh, Operating or something operating like that? Operating or something like that, because I know some modders, uh, particularly the ones that make more elaborate mods like this, will do that. Yep. And occasionally you also have one that has some kind of a... Uh, a uh, dispute with uh, the Nexus, Nexus, yep. Nexus mods too. And then they get mad when they pull all their stuff, right? Yep. So, But I have no idea with what the case is here. All I know is I'm glad I've got this. I like decorating and that kind of thing here. 
and uh, need to put some lights in, in here now. And we got some nice uh, bathroom style light fixtures to put in. Sandman 99, killing machine and interior decorator. That's right. And we might as well make this a combination, uh, you know, like bathroom and uh, perhaps laundry room. Yeah, why not? Okay. We'll throw in a June tag washer and dryer set. Make people happy, too. Yeah. There, now people can do their laundry. And maybe we'll put in a nice, uh, you know, big table or something here. Oh, let's, let's make that a... Uh, yeah, let's make that one of these things. Give you the shorter one, though. There. You don't want people banging their fucking knees on the cabinet whenever they go to take a dump? Well, see, then you can do cool stuff like this, too, right? You can go uh, uh, back into CWSS, and he's got all kinds of uh, accessories, including towels that you can you know, like kind of stack like that. Yep. So there you go. So, we got ourselves a nice little bathroom facility in here. And, uh, you know, combination bathroom and laundry facility, I guess. And, uh, believe it or not, the NPCs will actually use these facilities sometimes, right? You could put a door on the place. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I'd have to probably... Well, maybe I could. Maybe I can, uh, use one of my newfangled wooden, uh, uh wall pieces here. Just jam it in. Well, I can clip it in here. It might look a little bit odd with a section of it sticking out here, though. Oh, that's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. And of course, you cannot do this without uh, place everywhere, right? Yep. Because then we can go over here and we can put a door on there, just like that. Yeah. Now you can watch NPCs walk into the door all day long. Yeah. So anyway, there we go. Now we've got a functional bathroom with a door. Right? I can turn my flashlight thingy off now, probably. And remember, F5 is your friend. Yeah. Yeah, well, I do have a, like an auto-save function as well, but it doesn't seem to save as often as I was I would like. So I find that having the uh, manual quick save that you can kind of force is probably better. Indeed. And so we will pause for a moment. Okay. And we're back. Yes, after that pause that refreshes. Anyway, uh, we'll have to put some more uh, lights in here just to brighten this place up a little. And I like these lights for certain areas, especially in the red rocket stations. Well, I guess they're narrow and they can kind of fit in those uh, gaps between the doors and the windows and things, right? Yep. And of course we need some lights in our shop. But I think I'm going to go for something a little bit uh, uh, brighter for in here be able to get a chain of those in here but we'll have to get some power a little bit closer in order to make that work well you could just keep ringing uh, uh, power conduits around the whole building here yeah well I'll have to put another pylon out here I guess to get that angle out past the building oops I'll have to put it somewhere else a bit more out this way maybe There. Oh. 
There, that'll do it. Yep. That'll give us a bit of light in here in the shop so that we can see what we're doing. And then uh, maybe what we'll do here is we'll put up a little bit of display type decorations here in the shop. Good old weapon racks. Well, I really like the Red Rocket Settlements mod because a lot of the Red Rocket Settlement buildings are well suited to doing this kind of thing, right? Yep. So that you can put in, uh, you know, racks to put some of these weapons like that thing on. And uh, this thing. And uh, what else have I got here that I can put on a weapon rack? So I guess that. The best of legendary items. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not too sure if I've got any other things to go up on the wall right now. But, uh... But yeah, I mean, eventually I can do stuff like that, right? And maybe we'll even put one of these things in the corner here. weapons yeah and we'll put our wonderful legendary flamer in that that rack for the time being so anyway decorates up the shop a little bit right lights up the area a little yeah maybe use another light in here yeah well I'm thinking what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put one of these soon as we find it in here. That's one thing, cycling through the menu system here is a bit slow, especially if you've got a lot of mods that add new things. Yep. Oh, we'll, yeah. We'll maybe put in a uh, kind of like a restaurant booth kind of a thing here, right? We might even be able to put two in there. Nice. Oh, okay. Looks like I might have got that first one in a little crooked, though. Yeah, a little bit. We'll fix that up just a little bit and see how this goes now. Perfect. Okay, that's better. So, now you got a kind of like a seating area with your to go along with your kitchen and a bit of a living room type of area here. And maybe what we'll do is I think I think our radios are under uh, decorations miscellaneous here. Oh yeah, we could put one of Chef Perry's fridges in here. Actually, maybe it would be better to put it against this thing here because it looks like it kind of blocks the doorway a little bit. See, that's one thing that drove me nuts about vanilla too is that you can't these, put things these up things against would, walls. Well, these things would turn red, and you'd have to put it like way out from the wall like that, right? Yep. Even though there's obviously space there, and you should be able to tuck it in closer to the wall. So, anyway, and I guess it had something to do probably with uh, the way they designed the object collision or something in this game, I suppose. Yeah, probably. So we'll have to cycle all the way through here. Tablecloths. I wonder if I can put a tablecloth on top of a... Oh, looks like it only works with certain types of tables. Okay, now we're getting into it here. All right, here's one of our radios. This one will fit nicely in the corner. And give you some more happiness. Give you some more happiness. 
And it's within range of a power thing, so we'll turn it on. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put up a couple of paintings. Hmm? You guys are going to be happy <laughs> no yep. matter what you yep. want. You're going to be happy, damn it. What do you think? Uh... Ooh. There. Yeah, super mutants might blow you to pieces, but don't worry. At least you'll be happy. Yeah, you'll, we're, we're going to get some culture into this place. There's already kind of like a poster there. But we can probably put something up here too, right? Whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get another light on that wall. Yeah, I think we need another light here. Actually, maybe what we'll do is we'll put in... Uh, put in one of these. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's some kind of landscape showing purple water plants in a lake, I guess. Or some such. Or something. Yeah. Okay. So now our little uh, red rocket settlement is actually starting to look like something where people might want to actually live, eh? Yep. And uh, their happiness is now at 66, which is better than it was. And uh, the Commonwealth settlements where yeah. happiness is mandatory. <laughs> hey, I wonder under resources if I can build one of these things. I wonder if some of the merchants would actually show up at this thing if I put it in here. Oh, I see no harm in giving it a try. Yeah, I'm going to build it because it's going to give us more settlement happiness anyway. It's not like we don't have the space to spare or anything like that, so yeah, why not? Then maybe we can even, uh. Yeah, let's do that too. There. So now we got a bit of light for this area as well. So I got some place where I can put uh, weapons for display now and uh, a little bit of this and that and some decorations, some radios. It looks good. Okay. Right on. Desirable so, place to live. Yeah. So maybe what we'll do, I mean, I know you can probably go with as much or as little of that kind of thing as you want. Um, those are just some ideas I guess because there are a few uh, settlement uh, modification type mods out there where uh, some of these you know like things like pictures and that kind of stuff can add happiness to your settlement yeah and to be honest with you I don't know why uh, that wouldn't have been part of the vanilla game to tell you the truth because you know aside from uh you know, purely aesthetic fashion. I mean, maybe that's why Bed Guy just put down bed on the ground and then left it at that way back when because there was no real uh, practical purpose for doing anything more than that, you know? Possibly, or at least little more than that. Yeah. Whereas uh, here, at least, with some of these mods that I've installed... Uh, you know, like you, you actually get a tangible benefit. Yeah, you get you get radios and you get a diner with your barrack Adam, style housing. You must be the main. <laughs> Anything I can do to help out? Oh, good, another one. I'd like to trade some items. Sure thing. Okay, well, I think I've got a good lever action rifle here for you, and I even have some ammunition for it. Now I just have to go and build you a uniform, and then uh, you can be ready to go in your new career hey. as a uh, provisioner. Yep.
Okay. Well, that's convenient. You just time. stay. You stay Come stuck up. around fairly close too. Good. Can we trade a few things? Because now I can. Yeah. The fog. It's dangerous. Okay. Yeah, but you'll be fine. Because you got your police uniform. Okay, back to Red Rock at Southwest Harbor. We'll double up on that that uh, provisioner line. And then we'll make a quick check on the computer here and see who has the jobs. Looks like... How about that, hey? That's, yeah, lu that's lucky. That's lucky on both settlements. Yep. So everybody here has a job. Oh, now I'm hungry and thirsty. And this guy won't get out of your way. And this guy won't get out of my way, yep. Well, at least the water fountain's right here so I can get a drink of water. And... We'll just keep working our way through those delicious gumdrops, I guess. Damn, I can't believe how many gumdrops you got. Yeah, well, I picked up a whole bunch of them. I can't remember where now. So how are we doing here? We're pretty happy. We got lots of food. We got lots of water. Decent defenses. All the beds we'll ever need. So, yeah, I think we're doing well. Yep. Yep. We got the outhouse. Sorry, no no plumbing for you guys. Yeah, who needs <laughs> it when you've got the outhouse? Yeah. So I guess now we need to maybe do a little bit of cooking too because we're carrying around a bunch of uh, cookable stuff. Hmm, do you want to save any of that stuff for the uh, quest? What? Oh, for the... Uh... Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Looks like maybe I uh, don't have that much stuff to cook anyway. Yeah, it says throw any kind of meat in. So maybe we'll save some of the stuff that we're carrying around for that. Good point. Alright. So we're still packing around quite a lot of stuff here. Says the guy who can carry 805 pounds. Yeah. I think it's just a uh, consequence of having a high-level character and playing for a long time. Well, I'm also, like, uh, carrying around a couple of uh, things that I could break down and store in the way of armor, too, right? Yeah, super mutant armors and the like. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll probably do that. Uh, where are we here? Yeah. And then that's just a uh, thing that we can store. And we can also probably store some of the ammunition we're not using as well. Yeah, now that you've put your flamer away, you don't got to carry flamer fuel no more. Well, I already used up all the flamer fuel, so... Except for those five little... Uh, Units, right? Okay, well, not sure what blight is, but we probably don't need to carry that around with us. We got angler meat. So I guess maybe we'll use that as bait. Rangers and the Ghoul Slayers combat armor, right arm, and all that kind of good stuff.
And we can probably uh, put away some of these. I know I have a habit of collecting those things just because I like to give them out to settlers. Particularly, uh, I like I like to have my provisioners well armed. Yeah, so that, that way they, they can, don't get it interrupted as often. Yeah, the supply lines don't get interrupted as often if they're uh, actually capable of defending themselves somewhat effectively. So, okay, I think we're good to go here. Oh, and I got a level up, and I think I can finish off the gunslinger perk tree. Nice. So there you go. So now I guess uh, I can do about as much damage with a pistol as it's possible to do. Yeah, you've mastered just about every type of weapon now, haven't you? <coughs> well, so yeah, that's got an advanced receiver. And that has a meticulously tuned receiver, which is the top end for that. And that also has a meticulously tuned receiver. I'm actually carrying around two of these things. A kneecapper Ruger Mark V and a two-shot Ruger Mark V. If only you could put a bigger mag on the thing. I could, but uh, it doesn't really... It's not that much bigger. And these things reload fairly quickly anyway, so. And that has an advanced receiver on it. So I guess we're pretty much have our weapons all maxed out to what they can possibly do. And I have Wastelander's friend here too. Now. So let's head on over to ward uh, this wonderful... Uh, legendary feat that we're going to try and attempt here. The legendary feat. How far away is that anyway? It's a fair distance away, actually. Oh yeah, it's like way over on the other side of the island, hey? Eh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's fish in the water here. Huh. That are that are actually alive. Go figure. Yeah. But hey, you know what? If given the choice between fish and vegetables, I think I'd still eat fish. Uh. See what time is it getting to be here? Wow, it's evening again already. So we'll make a quick stop in at Dalton Farm here just to check on them and have a nap, and then we'll continue on. And who knows, maybe you'll have another provisioner to assign. Yeah, maybe, actually. That would be a good idea, too. Damn it, I shouldn't have stored those guns. Eh. Oh well. Well, I guess I can always just make a railroad rifle. It was kind of an impulse thing anyways. Yeah. Coming out this way. So you just got to get your bike going, hey? Uh. super mutants out here. Okay, that's just about enough of that. Yeah, actually, you know what would uh, go really well with your new gunslinger perks? A uh, select uh, revolver. Yeah. That might be worth getting. Oh, 
I was kind of hoping to find a uh, legendary one at this point, but I actually haven't yet. Boy, this guy has a ton of health. And he can mutate. Well, he already did that. <laughs> See that stun lock, eh? He can't do anything. Yep. I got him pinned up against this rock and I can just keep on uh, staggering him over and over and over and he can't do anything about it. Yeah, and that's just a, uh, a vanilla legendary weapon. Yeah, well this is the thing that I found at the lumber yard over there, right? Yep. Thanks for the shit to break down, guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's a pretty good. I, I still say the harvester has got to be one of the best weapons in the game. Like really. Okay, and here we are at the farm. going to look for oh you're looking for the barnacle are I'm you I'm looking for the barnacle because there's a one of our viewers gave me a hint that there might be a barnacle around here somewhere that is causing that radiation hot spot is it more off the shoreline here in the water slightly or maybe it's gone away on its own it doesn't seem to be there now. It's gone. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's really strange, hey? Hmm. Well, maybe it just took time for the radiation to, to die down then or something. Possibly. Hey, I'm new here. Oh, oh look. Whatever you need. Just say the word. Okay, Just well, let's trade. You, okay. Okay, and I'm going to give you this high capacity handmade rifle that I just found. Then I guess I have to go and uh, make you a uniform. Make you a uniform. Where did I put all the workshop stuff? Do you Was remember? it back here? Uh, nope. Oh, no, you put them inside the building. Yeah. Inside inside one of these buildings, yeah. Is it this one? I don't remember now. I think it's this one. Uh, nope, no, that's the wasn't, bad one. It wasn't this one. Maybe there's this one. Okay, not up here, though. Top floor, maybe? Oh, there you go. No, that's not where you go. Top floor. Maybe, Bet you it's top floor. Maybe I didn't build any yet here. Yeah, maybe, maybe you didn't. Like you stands no chance against the floor yeah, must not have built any here yet. Because I think, whoops, I think I was just getting the uh, bare minimum established here. Right? To get all of these guys a place to live and uh, stuff like that. Well, you'll have to see what you can build now. Well, I've got a whole bunch of this uh, dock work here with nothing better to do, so uh, maybe I'll just have an open-air crafting area, hey? Yeah, why not? You see, the game would make you put, uh, put that uh, armor workbench, like, a whole foot in from that railing. Yep. That's why you gotta have place everywhere. Oh yeah, place, place, anywhere. place, place everywhere is pretty much a a must-have mod, I think.
Okay, now all we need to do is find that guy again. Is he standing out there where he used to be radioactive? Well, I don't know. Is this him? Yep. Okay. Just wanted to trade a few things. That's just where they gather, man. Yeah, they like to stand out here, I guess. I used to be scared of super mutants. We taught them a lesson this time. Yep, we sure did. Okay, uh... So, we'll send you to Red Rock at Southwest Harbor as well. So, now... You have three long-ass supply lines. I've got three really long supply lines, yep. But you pretty much have to do it this way on this island, because... Uh, uh, the, the, even with the, like, I think there's another, maybe another red rocket as well somewhere on this island, I don't remember. But even with the addition of a couple of red rocket settlements, uh, settlements are pretty thinly spread on, like, settlement sites are pretty thinly spread on this island, right? Yep. So how are we doing for time here, anyway? We're at an hour and 12 minutes. Okay, well, I'm thinking that we're not going to make it to uh, do the captain's dance today. Well, you had some settlement stuff to look after. Had some settlement stuff to look after, and uh, you know what? You never know. me. I think it seems like maybe people like this kind of stuff a little bit. And... Uh, so we'll, you know, unless unless a bunch of people, you know, comment that they don't really care for it or whatever, well, I think we'll probably try and include a little bit of this settlement building stuff every now and again. I know at least a subset of the audience appreciates it. Yeah. And so here we go. Everybody here, you know what's really handy? Anybody that's unemployed just walks up to me and says, Hi, I need a job. <laughs> They're not like a, a bunch of lazy pricks like they are in the Commonwealth where you actually have to go looking for them, right? Well, I guess the culture's <laughs> different around here, huh? Yeah. Right to work. <clears throat> anyway, I guess uh, we'll leave that where we are for now until next time. And I guess next time we'll... Uh, We'll wander over to the far side of the island and do the captain's dance thing. Alrighty. Until then, I'm Rekby5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one. <laughs>